Hello to you. Very good evening. I'm Edward Salt. A Berkshire MP has raised his concerns with the schools minister tonight after the family of a Reading head teacher say she took her own life whilst waiting for the publication of an Ofsted report. Ruth Perry was the head of Caversham Primary School. Her family say they were devastated by her sudden death. Today, Labour MP Matt Rodder said there is concern about the way Ofsted inspections are carried out and the wider pressure on her teachers. Ruth's sister Julia has spoken to our reporter, Jo Campbell. I'm very privileged to have been the head for the last 11 years and I'm particularly proud of the fact that I'm a product of the school. You know, when Ruth Perry became head of Caversham Primary, life had come full circle. Last November's inspection was her first in charge and the school's first in 13 years. I texted her about something else altogether. She texted me back and said, I can't speak now for the worst day of my life. The offset inspectors have been in and it's dreadful. And, and that was it. So I sort of said, no, it can't be that bad. She said, yes, I think it is. It's about as bad as it can be. They were told on the first day that their rating was going from outstanding to inadequate. Ruth told her sister that in feedback to the senior leadership team here, the inspectors had said that a boy doing a dance move akin to flossing was evidence of the sexualisation of children at the school. They also said that they'd seen child-on-child -child abuse. That turned out to be a playground scrap. One of the most hurtful things was initially the sense of complete injustice. This week's report judged the school good in every single category, except leadership and management. When it came to keeping children safe, record keeping was poor and there were gaps in employment checks, creating a potential risk to pupils. The verdict meant that the entire school dropped to the lowest possible rating. The inspection was the 15th and 16th of November. Ruth took her own life on the 8th of January. All during that process, every time I spoke to her, she would talk about the countdown. I remember clearly one day saying, 52 days and counting. So every day she had this weight on her shoulders, hanging over her, and she wasn't officially allowed to talk to her family. And I remember the very first time I saw her, rather than just speaking to her on the phone, a couple of days after the end of the Ofsted inspection, she came, she was... Oh, she, she was an absolute shadow of her former self. The case has been taken up by the MP for where Ruth lived and where the school is cited. I've had a meeting with the schools minister and I've also raised this with the regional director of Ofsted. I think it's fair to say that there are local concerns about the way that the inspection was carried out, um, also about the way that the Ofsted framework um, and other um, regulations affecting Ofsted effectively work um, and the wider pressure on head teachers. In a letter to the family, Brian Grady, Director of Education for Reading, said, I will be stating wherever I go, meeting with parents, community representatives, colleagues, wherever, that Caversham Primary is an effective, quality education environment and is not done justice by a one-word label of inadequate. Neither is Ruth's leadership. This one-word judgment was just destroying 32 years of her vocation. Education was her vocation. 32 years summed up in one word, inadequate. That It just preyed on her mind, sadly, until she couldn't take it anymore. We've heard a lot about Ruth as a teacher, but of course she was also a member of the family. She was a, a daughter, she was a sister, she was a mother. Yeah, she's a huge loss. She was my little sister. And she had so much, she was only 53. She had so much more still to give, so much more that she still could do. She's not going to be there for her daughter's GCSEs, A-levels, university, marriages, whatever. You know, she's, she's gone. I would like every child to look back on their school days with as much fondness as I have. Um, and if we achieve that, then, then I'll be very happy. Well, in a statement, Ofsted told us we were deeply saddened by Ruth Perry's tragic death. 
our thoughts remain with Mrs Perry's family, friends and everyone in the Caversham Primary School community.